What's up guys, this is Solistic here and welcome back to Pokemon Break Bronze. So, as of now, we're at episode 13. Yes, we're moving on forward and actually, before we get going further into the game, there's one important thing I would like to mention. I'll see you in a second. Okay guys, so if you have a look here, this is the main Robux page for Pokemon Brick Bronze. And as you can see in the title, 5th Gym. And that's right, there has been an update and we get the 5th Gym. So the adventure currently leads up to just past the 5th Gym. Okay, and there's another important thing I would like to mention. So if you look, have a look here, this is the official Brick Bronze wiki page. You know you can find all the information here, Pokemon types, locations, items, characters, and whatnot. You guys can check that out for yourself, I'll link it down in the description below. So basically it's like a guide that helps you throughout the game. I haven't used it because I like challenges, I like to see the unforeseen, you know, I like surprises. And so yeah, so this is actually one of the new cities. So the fifth gym is actually located in this city. It's called Aridia City. And some notable places are, you know, as you can see here, the Route 11, Route 12, which are which are two of the new additions along with updates. There's also Old Aridia. Okay? So the gym specializes in ground types. Gym leader Prince Ryan, and so on and so forth. So, if you carry on looking through the city information, there is, uh, in fact, a sleeping Snorlax, you know, which is adopted from Leaf Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green. You no, know, there's a Snorlax blocking your path, but somehow wake it up and battle it. And I'm guessing we could probably catch it as well. So as you read the description here, there is a Snorlax sleeping in the town center. An Ekans Charmer is in the alley south of Iridia City Place, offering a trade of Ekans for a Poke Loot. Once the flute is acquired, players can wake up the Snorlax for a battle. So we can eventually battle it, and perhaps catch it. You know, Snorlax is actually one of those great Pokemons. It's actually pretty tanky as well. So that also shows you the list of trainers, you know, perhaps in the gym. And yeah, that's it to the update. So I'll meet you guys back in the game. Hey okay guys, so we're back. We're still in Rose Cove City, so last time we took on the Battle Pier. So it's this long bridge here with, I believe, five trainers. And we get a pretty cool reward at the end. I forgot what it is already. Let me have a look. Oh yeah, so we got the King's Rock, which actually can be used for Slowbro to evolve him into Slow King, I believe. Yes. So I'm actually going to have a look around this town a little bit. And if I find something important, I'll meet up with you guys then. Okay guys, so I had a look in the city. There wasn't anything important. So you know what? We'll just get healed up and We'll go on ahead and challenge the third gym. So my guess was that like based on the surrounding Pokemon, it's mostly water type, so I'm guessing the gym is going to be water type as well. So if you have a look here, these are some of the Pokemons we caught. Our team is looking very sharp here, but I think we're reliant on Substrika the most for this gym. Okay. So we also have this egg, which I don't know when I'm going to take out. And I have no clue what's going to hatch from it, but you know, we'll see about that in a later episode. Okay guys, so it's time to enter the gym. The Rose Coast City Gym. So let's see what this guy has to say for us. Welcome to the Rose Coast City Gym. The goal here is to arrange pipe blocks to allow water to flow from the faucets to a small generator. Each time you solve a pipe puzzle, it will power on the water control chamber's door to release enough water to allow you to keep moving through the gym. 
To move the blocks, you must step on the metal control. Click on the project to test the water. Okay, thank you. That was a mouthful. Oh, looks like we have a, a pipeline puzzle here. We have seen many of these, you know, in uh, the App Store games. So I'm guessing the blue ones we can move and these ones we can. So we, we basically have to create a flowing pipe where, you know, where water can actually flow through it. And, okay, looks like we can't go through pipelines, but it sucks. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. There you go, that's the first puzzle solved. So I'm guessing if we jumped down there without the water actually being there, we would have been trapped. So let's go on ahead. Actually, before we go on ahead, I don't want to risk our little archin, buddy. So zip strike up. You're up, buddy. I wish you had Thunderbolt or Thunder, that would have actually helped even more. Hey, I see you figured out the first Pipeworks puzzle. Good job. Now let's see if you can beat the first gym trainer. Okay, I'm ready when you are, Beach Bum. <laughs> Beach Bum Ralph. Tentacool. Hmm. Whoa, we'll look at the levels. They've been training. Looks like I've been slacking. And Zipstrika in with the one bang. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go Zipstrika, we got this. We're gonna demolish this gym. Pussy. Pure water type. So I'm guessing we got this. We also have the speed advantage, which is a great thing. I'm glad we got this guy. No, not much EXP, as I would expect. Tentacruel. So in with the spark, level 30. And we still kill it in one hit. Perfect. 1k EXP, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. We got this, guys. Nido King with the level up. You really are smart. Um, I guess you could say that. Thank you very much for the battle, sir. Moving on up. Oh, looks like we got another puzzle. Hmm. So, it's a... No. Okay, wait. This one. This one. This one. Let's see what we have. Uh... Can we rotate it? No, we can't. Actually, let's move this. So, what am I doing? Uh, oh, okay, I think I got it. So we just move it, extend it, one more bit, and then... I think this should work. Nope. Great! Uh... Oh, we can use this part too here. Okay, I didn't see that before. Let's see... We can get this here. This one here. Uh, hmm. This is, this is an interesting one. It's only the second one, but... Yeah, it's interesting. And it looks like we got it! Yes! It actually took uh, longer than it should have, but we got it. There we go, looks like... We got a spelt beach bum here. You know, a muscular dude. Look at all the definition. He's been working out. My friends and I are going to hang out on the beach later. I must first take care of my duty as a gym trainer and test trainers' strength before they can battle our gym's leader. Yep, typical gym trainers. Mr. Cameron, what you got? Wilmer! Oh, looks like we got a tank here. Okay, so these guys are in their 30s. I'm guessing the gym leader 
It's going to have Pokemon in the 36 range. I'm guessing. I mean, it makes sense if you think about it. Oh, we actually killed it in one hit. Perfect. I'm not complaining. Man time. So I'm guessing it's flying water, so we have a double advantage. Yes, I know, I know guys, I'm not using the other folks, but Zipstrika is the best choice for this gym. So let's give it to him. Rain Dance. No, it increases water type moves, I believe, but no. Azumarill is actually holding an item called Mystic Water, which increases water type moves, so we're cool with that. The second one. The second puzzle actually was a struggle, and now we got this. Look at all this. Wow. Okay, it'll be a while probably. I'll meet you guys back when I figure it out. And I think we're almost done. Yes! So this one actually didn't take long at all. It took less time than the second puzzle, which is uh, astonishing. But we did it! And it looks like we got two trainers here. It's actually a cool layout, since it is a water type gym. Look at the gym leader, it looks like a, like a grass type gym leader actually. Looks like a forest ranger, but who am I to complain? It's his uniform, it's his choice. You really are a puzzle master. Now let's see if you have what it takes to be a Pokemon master. No, I'm a Pokemon master first, and then I'm a puzzle master. Oh, a war turtle. I don't believe we have seen one of those. We might have, but I don't remember. Ooh, War Turtle standing up strong. Okay, Rapid Spin barely did anything. Just perfect. I don't really think Zubstrika has high defense, but he can tank a bunch of hits. Ooh, Archin with the level up. Prim Plop. Pip up second stage. Is it steel type or pure water? Let's find out. Okay, so it is pure water. So that's perfect. And Zubtrika with the level up. When are you gonna learn a good electric type move, buddy? Marsh Tom. Ooh. So electric won't affect it because it is water ground so let's go for azumarill since it's a fairy type as well we might be able to pull this off Ooh, it's faster than us okay that's fine azumarill can actually tank a couple of hits whoa oh, okay it's a critical i was going to say Azumarill came in very handy. I'm proud of you, Azumarill. Ally switch. Uh, I don't remember what that does. Let's actually check it out. User switches with oppose... Oppose it. <laughs> with opposite teammate. Switch what? Uh, you know what? I'll just pass up on that. Beating me doesn't make you a Pokemon master, unfortunately. Uh, I guess not. I'll see you after I beat the lead for, okay? Let me see. People give us beach bumps a hard time because of our title. They assume we are all lazy. I can assure you we are quite the opposite. All the swimming and lying around in the sun is hard work, you know? I understand. And I agree with you, buddy. Ooh, a Lapras. No, Lapras is pretty tanky, but I think we have a good chance at one hit killing it. Uh, no, we don't. Ooh, Body Slam. Oh, that did a lot. Okay, so I have to watch out for Body Slam. 1.2k EXP. Perfect. Ooh, Blaze came with the level up. Is there not another name we can go by? Uh, not at the moment. Okay, so we're at the gym leader. Before we battle him, I'm actually going to get some strike guy healed up. 
Okay, what you got? Hello, young trainer. I am Quentin, leader of the Rose Coast City Gym. You must be the kid that ran Team Eclipse out of town. Word spreads fast around this town. I'm sure you are here now to test the strength and earn a battle. I must warn you, my specialty is water. Water type Pokemon are said to be some of the oldest living species on the planet. And so are fish. Just an FYI, they've had millions of years to evolve into battling machines. You must be strong to have beaten all of those Team Eclipse members. But are you strong enough to take on the Rose Coast City Gym Leader? Well, let's find out. Yep, same answer here. Ooh, nice hat there, buddy. Ooh, nice battle music. Wilmer. Oh, look, 35. I was right, 36 range. Okay, so let's see if we can still one bang it. Oh, we still can! Let's go, Zipstrika! This is what I'm talking about. I'm getting pumped here. Azuma with the level up. Gorbis. The. Uh, I'm guessing it's water type. So this is actually Clamp Pearl's evolution. Okay, it's not faster than us. Ooh, okay. It is a level 37. Oh, that did a lot. Okay, we have to try to save uh, Zipstriker here. Let's see who we are up against last. I think it's last. Discharge! Wait. Ooh, 80 power! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Goodbye, Shockwave. Finally, a better move. Okay, let's go to track out. We got discharge. Let's electrify things here. Archon level 28. Acrobatics. Fifty-five power. Mm, no, we'll pass up on that. Until. So this is another Clown Pearl evolution, and it is the last one, so let's see if we can do the Discharge Buddy. One hit. I think we did it, because we just got the badge award. And yes, we did it! With the critical, let's go Zip Striker! He's a beast! So glad we got this guy. It made me proud. Nido King with the level up. You, you really are quite strong after all. Yes, after all, I destroyed your entire team with one Pokemon. You certainly are a driven individual. I can tell you that, and your victories have more meaning than just a victory over battle. That's right. You're training with a purpose, and I like that. Your journey wherever it may take you is something special. As soon as you let that go, you will become weak. That's true. Always fight for something and not for personal gain, I always say. That's right guys. Set your ego, or your bad egos aside, and focus on the positive things and strive for greatness. I present to you the Float Badge. Hmm, cool looking badge. And that's our third Gym Badge. I also want you to have this. TM55. I'm not sure what that is. Scout. Oh, this is actually a great water type move because it can actually burn your opponents. No, a zoom reel? I'm hitting you up with that. Oh, he knows about our parents. What? Like I said before, word travels fast. The story of the child that lost her parents to the Wicked Team Eclipse then shows up and fights them back. Not once, but twice. Now it's spreading all over time. Your story not only strengthens you, but others who, he who hear of your journey. Now, young trainer, go and continue to fight for what is right. Your journey is only just beginning. So, word does actually spread really fast around here. I wasn't expecting that. So, let's have a look at this. We have Scout. Zoom rail. A new move for you, buddy. So, 80 power. We actually got Aqua Toe, which is better, but we don't need Bubble Beam. And the chance of burning them is a great advantage.
Well, look who it is! Who are you? What a surprise to run into you here, Solistic. I was just in the neighborhood to talk to a man about some Pokemon related issues I've been having. Anyways, I heard from a few people that a member of Team Eclipse tried stealing your necklace in Chesapeake Town. It was very fortunate that you managed to escape. I'll bet you and your Pokemon are very strong now. Oh, it looks like you have three badges now. That's right. I just got it. You really are coming along quite well. Anyway, Solistic, I also wanted to tell you that I haven't gotten any word regarding your parents yet. Wait, is this the professor? I don't remember him looking sharp like this guy. According to a few sources, it would appear that Team Eclipse definitely has them, but it's unclear where they are keeping them. Team Eclipse has been giving the people Rory your trouble for a few years now. What's odd is that in the past, they have been keeping their villainous attempts on the down low. Lately though, they have been attacking very populated areas and in large numbers. If I had to guess, I'd say they were getting close to whatever it is that they are after. What's that? You want to know what they're trying to do? Yes, please. I've been wondering that from the beginning. Well, there have been stories and rumors spread around that they are looking for a particular ancient Pokemon with an incredibly unique power. I was once told that Team Eclipse is not happy with the world we live in. Apparently, whatever they are searching for might have the potential to take them someplace new. Can you stop talking now, buddy? It's actually a mouthful. It's more of a speech. I would guess an entirely new world. What Pokemon has that sort of power, though, is beyond me. I've heard that Team Eclipse has also been making attempts to gather lots of other Pokemon, including some mythical legendary Pokemon. Groudon and Kyogre are great and powerful Pokemon that can create land and seas. They give our world balance. And I'm just gonna skip the rest of it. Just boring talk. Blah blah blah. <laughs> we must get going. Finally! I've been waiting for that. I need to run to your Pokemon Center real fast. Be safe and stay out of trouble. It was nice talking to you. Okay, uh, weird guy. I don't actually remember who he is, but... Okay! Carrying on. Actually, I haven't checked this house. That was a waste of my time. There's nothing in there. It looks like Jake and the girl are waiting down there, so we'll catch up with them. Hey guys, I beat the gym. Oh look, Solistic is here now. How is the gym? Water type Pokemon are okay, but my ideal Pokemon type is... Ooh, we got a Dragon type trainer. This is interesting. I would go fight the gym leader, but I'm more interested in adventure than I am in earning badges. Hey! Yeah, me too. Don't you already have a couple of badges, Jake? Um, so who's ready to move on now? There's still so much to see and we still haven't found Solistic's parents. Oh yes, Jake was just telling me about your situation. That is just plain awful. I promise to help you in any way I can. You're so nice and beautiful, Tess. And um, what? Oh, uh, I said you're so bored waiting around here. Let's go on ahead. Oh yeah, let's go. We'll see you on the other side of the gate. Come on through when you're ready. I'm always ready. Actually, I'm born ready. So let's go! Here we are, Route 9. Oh, this looks cool. You know what? I'll save this for another time. Until then, if you guys enjoyed this episode, you know, like and subscribe. And also, I'll link down the wiki in the description below. You guys can check that out for yourself. You know, if you need help, you can follow up with that and you can find your answers there and until then i'll see you guys next time